Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos I produce. If you haven't checked out my free courses yet, I've got some brand new ones uh, I put up on the website. Check out that link in the description. Uh, they will really bless you. I know a lot of people uh, really love some of the content that I produce, uh, specifically the moves, like a lot of the inspirational things. There's nothing wrong with just moves. I love taking classes and learning a bunch of new moves that I could use on the social dance floor. But the main thing that I'm finding that people like after all these years is the fact that I'm teaching you guys how to see through moves so that you can understand how they work on a very elemental level. And we put that in like a simple language so things kind of make sense. So if you want to get good at swing dancing really quickly, you can if you want to. If you want to take years and a long time and have a lot of frustration, you can do that too. But either way, we've uh, stripped away that complexity so it'll be your choice. So check out those free courses and uh, my course, How to Master Swing Dancing Quickly, if you are interested in that. Now, today, what are we going to talk about? I'm going to be taking a look at the Royal Swing Fest 2022 Hell's a Poppin' competition. This looks really fun. I don't know if this is a strictly Lindy competition format or if it's going to be a Jack and Jill format. Either way, I'm totally prepared. I love looking at these two competitions. I prefer the Strictly over the Jack and Jill just a little bit. Um, but either way, it's going to be exciting. Uh, I don't recognize any of the dancers just looking at this thumbnail. I don't know if it's to a live. Yeah, it is to a live band. So let's just jump right into it. And then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and who I like the best. Let's get into it. All right. Looks like we're rolling. And... The Royal Swing Fest. Let's see if this is a Strictly or a Jack and Jill. We won't know until we start seeing choreography, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, there's some familiar faces. There's Alex, and he was just in the last video I did. That's funny. I don't know where this video is uh, being filmed, so um, it's probably traveling. Well, clap your hands, everybody. Clap clap your your hands, hands, everybody. everybody. I really like to see the MCs really hyped up getting people into it. I know a lot of times when you're watching a competition, that's kind of your moment to just relax because you've been dancing all night and people get tired. Who do you like so far, Creed? You don't know. I already know the winner. <laughs> just by that first session. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not really judging this competition for, like, technical stuff. I kind of see the level, and it's kind of a uh, it's kind of spread out a little bit in terms of like uh, technical ability. So I'm not that's not going to be high on my list right now. I think this one's going to be more about uh, fresh ingenuity, creative ideas, and I'm a bit more forgiving on execution when everybody is kind of at the same level. Um, you know, and not on a level that is like top of the top of the, you know, top of top of the crop level. Invitational, I'm I'm a bit more picky, but when it's uh, varied, where you have like intermediate, you have advanced, you have some more like a advanced plus dancers, you kind of have to start looking at things that kind of bring everybody on the same page. And ah, um, oh, looks like uh, yeah, there we, there we go. It looks like uh, we got six couples. So let's see what happens. I like this tempo. It's not too fast. So it gives people a little bit more freedom with their choreography. A little bit more nuance. Yeah, I like that. Did you see that move? That was neat. Yes, bringing them back around so you can see uh, not their backs when they're doing the swing out. I like when dancers are aware of that. Sometimes they end up doing swing outs where you only see their back. I prefer when they do a, Yes! Intensity changes! Love it. I like when they uh, do their swing outs where you can actually kind of look and see them looking at the judges and stuff. I love that. That's fun. Okay. Whoa! I like that. Yeah! It's funny. A lot of a lot of like shag dancers and just a lot of people who do that type of style tend to use that handhold a lot. And I know a lot of Lindy Hoppers don't get that close 
with their handholds where it's just a bit more convoluted. I think uh, it's, a, it's more for like dancers who do a lot of enclosed positions or they're not moving too much, like stretching apart. So it's really neat to see uh, that move. So far, that was my favorite move uh, in the competition. Let's see what's going to happen here. That's sax player. Oh, that was a surprise. Yes. You see the sax player? Yeah, he's, he's, he's killing it. All right, let's see. What will be that that special move? Oh, there we go. Nice kick over the head. Yeah. I love that move. That's one of those moves that it just always looks good. It's always a great transition move. Um, I like that vest. That vest is awesome. Nice little breaks. Like it. that classic stop did you see that I love that classic stop you gotta pay attention if you're gonna be watching it you can't be back over here sleeping <laughs> yeah that's my move I love that I love that move okay so it looks like they're so far getting around two stomp off yes Yes, hammer time. <laughs> you gotta put in a running man. <laughs> I don't even know if people know what the running man is. Some of these dancers might be really young. Yes. Uh huh. Ah, okay. So, uh, they're doing a little bit of the retro. I don't even like to call it retro, but the Max and Annie choreography. Their stuff is, like, still, uh, still top of the notch. All these years have passed, and it's still, I still think it's the number one. <laughs> it's number one type choreography and some of the best sequences that have ever been done in Lindy Hop. Nice. Get out of my way. <laughs> I love that. Did you see that little kick? They were cool about it, you know, kicking their feet up. Oh, that was neat. That was cool. I don't know if that was intentional or not, because I, I, it wasn't like a solid hit at the end, but if it wasn't intentional, it's great that we got footage. You, know, you can always go back and analyze it and polish the idea. You know, that's that's the beauty of the time we live in. Yes.
Yes. All right. More solo jazz. Who do you like so far? You still don't know? I think, yeah, I think my favorite movie so far was from the couple, the guy with the glasses and the tan outfit. She's got the, I think she has the green pants on. They had a couple of really cool moves. You do? You don't have to be. You don't want to. You can't figure out which one's the best? Hey, it's not over yet. We still have some time. Yeah, so those, uh, I think I did that move originally in 2012. And then I know um, a couple of other tall, lanky dancers like doing that move. It's really fun to kind of do that from uh, Charleston tandem. Yes, yeah, swing out. Beautiful. Controlled violence. Yes. <laughs> Aerials! Did you see that aerial on the back? That was good. Yes. All right. All right. All right. This looks like this is the end. That was pretty good. Let me talk about it. All right, guys, that was fun. That was really fun. I, uh, that was interesting. There was a lot of, there was a, a real difference in the skill level. Not everybody was like the same level. So of course, I'm looking at different things when that's the case, because you know some people can't have the same expectations for really like high technical stuff. But yeah, there were some moments that I liked. What did you like? Who, who was your favorite? Do you remember? Mm, not remember the names. Don't remember names, but but tell me the colors. Like, who did you remember? Like, who was it? Mm, someone with a yellow hat. Ah, uh, let me see here. I think. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. The the couple. I think they were first. Looks like I know the guy, Alex, and his lovely partner with the yellow hat. What did you like about them? Because their timing was just like when the music was working. Mm -hmm. They just had their timing exactly thought about when the music is moving. Ah, uh, so you liked you liked how they were matching the music. Mm -hmm. That was your favorite part, really? Mm -hmm. I yeah. Let me take a look at it. Let me let me see. Uh, yeah, let me see what you're talking about here. Yeah, so you like you like the timing of their music you know, or their their movements and how it just fit the music. What else did you like? Come on, come on, clap your hands. Yeah, you like the moves? Yeah. Were there any moves that you thought you could do better? Not sure. <laughs> yeah, well, they were they were probably my probably my second favorite um, out of everybody. If I was just looking at like them technically, I would have to say my first favorite uh, for technical dancing in terms of execution. I would say the couple, they were doing a lot of Max and Annie uh, choreography. She had like a gold dress on, he had all black on. Really, re what I appreciate is not that they were doing s some of the best choreography out there uh, accurately. I just like that, that I haven't seen choreography like that in a while and it was cool that they did it. But also they're not my favorite. I mean, they didn't, I feel like they didn't really add anything new to it. So if someone was watching them do this choreography for the first time, in a way they would think they made it up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I have mixed feelings on that. That's okay if certain people, you know, just want to do other people's moves and that's it. You, for me, you got to add something more. So that that was my favorite couple. But they're not my, my favorite in terms of what inspired me the most. Because obviously these are someone else's moves. You know, this is, you know, another couple's uh, like complete sets of choreography. So, craftsmanship's good too, so I'm not knocking that. I think that's super important that people even know where the moves come from. But, at the same time, I like the stuff that like inspired me. So, 
thanks for letting me know your opinion. I appreciate it. And you know what time it is. It's your bedtime, buddy. <laughs> All right. And it's almost your bedtime in an hour. Yeah, it's almost my bedtime, too. Hey, thanks for giving me your thoughts. I appreciate it. See you in a little bit. See ya. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, yeah, I think Creed has some good ideas. Uh, yeah, Alex and his partner is pretty solid on the execution, the timing. Yeah, and the other couple, I wish I could hear their name. I like them. But I think my favorite moment is this moment right here. It was a couple he had all green on, kind of uh, like a beige color. And she, let's see, when they first come out here, they, um, yeah, she's got green pants on. Now, the, the funny thing is, is, they weren't the best for me technically it's just that they had some irregular movements like this right here that little sequence ah right there and they stay connected in the handholds i love those types of creative transitions um yeah it's beautiful i know I, it looks like they might be like shag dancers i see a lot of those types of patterns with their footwork but that particular shape and that quick rotation was the, the thing that really got me excited. Just watching this, I thought that was really cool that they did that. I wish it was, it kind of deviated a little bit from that rhythm. I think it kind of went into kind of like a shag routine and, and we kind of lost this feeling of surprise and movement. It became kind of predictable. Um, and that's okay too. That's just what they chose to do. But their, their little moment, that was the part that got me excited. That little bit right there. That's what's cool about competitions, guys. They're, the standards constantly change whenever people rise to the occasion technically. If everyone in this competition was really technical and really good, like if this was in Korea, you know, I would have to really be picky about the ingenuity part because that means everybody can do the dance technically, but we would be missing the essence of personal, just their expression. That's the essence of the dance. We got to have your, your personal stamp. That's how you jazz dance. It's who you are. And so I tend to look for that more than anything else, the, the higher the level and also the lower the level. It's that in between level where my expectations for mastering the technique is really high. That's that intermediate to, intermediate advance. If, if people are struggling there, then I generally will look at who's doing the technique the best in the most you know, fundamental way. So that's what I have to say about this one, guys. That was actually really fun. I appreciated the, the atmosphere on this one. The band was really into it. They, I felt like they were part of this presentation. It was really cool. The organizer was, I don't know if that was the organizer or not, but the MC was really into it. And uh, I caught myself wanting to get excited to clap, but you know, I got to kind of self-contain self -contain all that emotion and uh, just try to look at this objectively as best as I can. And then also give you my subjective opinion. So uh, guys, that was really fun. Let me know who you thought was uh, the best couple and why. What was your favorite moment in this one? Let's hear it. Let me hear it in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't, again, checked out my free courses, I would encourage you to do that. I got a lot of free stuff. Uh, I've updated my website, uh, made it a little bit more customizable for people. It's easier to navigate. I know Patreon has a little bit of limits. So if you are interested in all my body of work and you want all my moves and all the stuff I come up with, it's probably better to check out my Patreon and support the channel that way. You, know, you get all of that access uh, for free as a bonus um, as you support this channel. So thank you guys for watching. Let me hear your comments below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.